Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Wednesday, March 27, 2024. I hope we are in good spirit this morning. And I pray that as you go throughout the day, that you will look to him who woke you up this morning. I pray that you will trust him to take care of you today. You know, God is so good to us. And were not for his grace and his mercy, we will not be alive today. And so we have reasons to give him thanks for. As I always say, once there's life, there's hope. And so God has given us hope today. May we appreciate it and give him thanks. Now our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 19. And we will read from verse 13 to 15. And it says, Then were there brought unto him little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray, and the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Suffer the little children, and forbid them not to come unto me, for such is the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them and departed thence. Amen. We give God thanks this morning again for his word of wisdom. And now this morning, Jesus was addressing a situation with his disciples and those who were around him at the time. Now, in these verses, Jesus' disciples initially tried to prevent some children from coming to Jesus. But Jesus rebuked them. And remind them, affirming them that the kingdom of heaven belong to such as these. And so he blessed the children and also emphasized the necessity of a childlike faith that each of us needs to develop for entering God's kingdom. So he points to the fact that we must be pure and that we must be humble. And that we were, we must trust, trust not in ourselves but in God. He says, by doing these things and acquiring these qualities, then we can inherit the kingdom. Because what? Those are some of the qualities that we must have as Christian. And when you admire and look at a child, you know, a child is so innocent. A child does not carry grudges. A child don't keep malice. A child, they, they are so loving and so kind. Well, in, in most cases, you know, and especially if that child is brought up under the right circumstances. I know sometimes, you know, in the time that we are living in now, it might be a, a little bit different because a lot of children now, they are not being brought up in the fear of God and so that is why we have our children they are so different than when we were growing up as children but nevertheless children are the heritage of God and here God is saying that we must make sure that we bring these little ones to him so parents should make sure that they lead the little ones, the children that God blessed them with, are loaned to them to God. And so it is very unwise for a parent to stand in the way of a child that wants to give his or her life unto the Lord. You're going to have problem with God if you try to do that. Jesus had to rebuke the disciples when they tried to prevent the children from coming to him. You don't do that. God don't take kindly to that. These children belong to him. So back to the point. As I was saying earlier that Jesus was using this example to point to the fact that as Christians, there are qualities that we must have in order for us to inherit the kingdom of God. And so we can't be keeping malice with each other. We can't be lying. We can't be doing all these things that are inappropriate and that is not in accordance with God's will and think that 
we will still inherit the kingdom of God. It doesn't work that way. And so we must be humble enough even to know when we make mistakes or when we do something wrong, we should confess it before the Lord. Because what? If sin is in us, when God return, then we won't make it to heaven. And so we must be pure of heart, okay? And we must trust in God. So having a childlike faith, you know, and a childlike faith, it just means that if you promise a child something, that child believe with all their heart that they are going to get what you promised to them. So it is not corrupted by any form of doubt because they believe that you are going to give them whatever you say that you are going to give to them. But a lot of times with us as adults, we find ourselves doing the opposite. God promises us things or he assures us of things and he only said that we need to believe and we only believe halfway right in the middle of the faith journey we start to doubt and we think that god won't come true or if he is gonna come true and all of that no that's not purity of faith and that's not a childlike faith that's a faith that is very underdeveloped and an undeveloped faith is going to be problematic for a child of God. Do you see where I'm going? So it is important for us to develop the right kind of attitude as God's children. To know that God is dependable. That we can rely on him. That we can trust in him. And we must be humble in our hearts to seek him. Put pride aside and seek God's face because God is there for us. And just as the disciples tried to stand in the way of the children, anyone that tried to stand in our way to prevent us from reaching to Jesus, then God is going to rebuke them just the same. So don't worry. Just trust him. Just run to your daddy. Run to your puppy because he welcomes you with open arms. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Amen.